Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel where in today's video we're going to go through the controversial um, subscriptions in games basically. So this game has a subscription, quite a lot of games do have in game subscriptions nowadays. So I'm basically going to go through what you get for the, um, for the subscription and why I did subscribe to it. Um, some of my comments may be controversial, you may not like what I say the reasons why I do it um, so yeah stick along um, obviously I'd like to hear what you think of the subscription so you can always pop that in the um, comment section it'd be lovely to hear what your views are on it and before I go any further and dive any further into this please if you haven't got the disposable income to do this subscription please don't do it and that takes me on to my second point that this subscription is not groundbreaking so if you can't afford it, please don't do it because it's not going to affect your account to the point where you can't compete or you're going to fall miles behind or you're just never going to reach end game. None of that. It just gives you a couple of nice perks if you play the game on a regular basis and if you log in every day. So I'm going to go through the subscription now. Right. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this is, is it auto-renews. Um, a lot of people could possibly have downloaded the game um, subscribed, played it for a bit, got bored of it, forgot they'd subscribed, and they're getting seven ninety nine dollars a month taken out of their account. And they probably don't even realise, probably don't check it. So I do wish that it made you at least click the button to I renew every month so that you was in control of it. And maybe one month you think, oh, I might be a little hard up this month, I'm not going to subscribe this month, rather than having to go through cancelling it, then reactivating it, and things like that. So, as you can see, the benefits. 20% increased daily login rewards, 20% daily objective and item resources, plus 20% faster daily rift token regeneration, and plus 20% faster activity timer in all HQ rooms. So basically, what this does is, I'll start with the daily calendar. So if you go to the daily calendar, any everything in orange, or yellow, it is probably, yeah, it means that you will get a 20% extra for that. So obviously it aligns with every every day of the uh, calendar and it just gives you a little bit extra. So I work this out. Um, <clears throat> so out of the cube tokens, you're gonna get an extra 41 cube tokens, an extra nine hero shards, and an extra 180 helix credits. So that's what you get for logging in every day extra with the 20% bonus. Um, right, if I go to the daily objectives, uh, everything obviously again in yellow is what you get an extra 20% of. Obviously everything that's one has been doubled to a two. It's technically 50%, but they can't give you 20% of a health potion, so they just give you two. So, yeah, in this you get extra intel, which means you get more energy to do your uh, objectives with and your missions with. Uh, obviously, helix credits are in here, cube tokens, codexes, materials, and gold. So it just gives you a nice little extra bonus every day. If you complete these objectives, you get a little bit extra for being subscribed for it. Uh, the third thing it does is the helix rift events. So these helix rift events come along i think there's a day break between each one um for example if a helix rift event lasts for three days from going from 100 energy to zero energy there's a 24 hour regeneration time but if you're subscribed it's a 20 hour regeneration time so basically that's four hours knocked off if you've got a three day event you're getting basically 12 hours extra worth of energy so you get that rather than having to spend refills, you get to obviously go into the event a couple of more times, get a couple of more points, and obviously boost yourself up the leaderboard. So as I said, it is a nice perk, but it's not groundbreaking. If you've got somebody spamming energy refills time after time, this extra four hours totaling 12 isn't really going to make much difference. So if you go back to this, and the last and final thing was the times... Uh, for all the activities within the room. So that goes for your intel, for your coin collecting, your weapon training and crafting and training heroes and whatever else you can do that puts a timer in, your potions. They 
have a 20% faster time on them. So because you're subscribed, you get them a 20% turnaround a bit quicker. Um, as I said, it's not game breaking. It isn't gonna make or break your account. It is literally just for people who play the game every day, just make things a little bit easier for them, but it obviously comes at a cost. So that's basically the subscription in full. I'm now gonna explain to you why I decided to subscribe. The first reason, was with the 20% extra bonuses from your daily logins and for your credits, uh, for your um, daily objectives and your daily logins, over the course of a 30 day month, I will get roughly 480 credits back extra a month. So it's 4.99 in English money for um, 500 units. So basically just shy of five pounds worth of units I'm getting back for an eight pound subscription. So to me, the subscription is only really costing me three pound a month because I'm getting them extra units back because of the 20% bonus. I do run a lot of Helix Rift events. So because of that, the extra time is just nice. So 20 hour cooldown rather than a 24 hour cooldown helps me out a little bit, gets me a couple of extra run-ins. And yeah, it's very, very beneficial to me. And obviously playing the game quite a lot, I'm there collecting my codexes, my potions, my coins, and everything like that. So that being 20% faster, obviously allows me to just claim a little bit more during the day. So that's one of the reasons I do it. And the, the second reason I do it is probably a bit controversial to some people, and that is to support the game. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, why do you want to support Ubisoft? They've got so much money. Uh, they've, you know... Why do you want to think? Well, basically, I know they make a lot of money from their Assassin's Creed franchise and obviously the division and things like that. But at the end of the day, if this game is not making money, they're not going to update it. They're not going to put new levels in and new events, new heroes. They're not going to put the time in to make the game better. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the fact that they reckon that Ubisoft probably... The game's buggy, there's faults with it, but for anybody who's played any mobile game or any game in general, there is not a company or a game that you can play that is completely flawless. I mean, I spent three years hardcore playing Marvel Contest of Champions. I gave it up about a year ago when my baby was born, a little bit longer than that actually, and if you... They've now got a subscription in their game, and if you think Ubisoft are bad... You should have been playing this game when the 12.0 update dropped because that Marvel Contest of Champions game basically shut down for two weeks while they had to refix it all. And yeah, so to my experience of this game, Ubisoft aren't that bad compared to companies like EA and everybody like that. There are so many games now and the amount of effort and everything that goes into them, you are going to get bugs, you are going to get faults. And for me... I don't spend money on this game. Um, I haven't got the money to do it. Uh, having a little and a family and everything, I can't just sling money into this game. So that subscription for me is just my little way of kind of putting back into the game because I play it every day. I enjoy it every day. And I'm even bringing you now YouTube content on it. I really enjoy the franchise and I really enjoy, you know, this as well, doing videos for you, I absolutely love it, you know, whenever I turn this camera on and start doing a video, regardless of what it is, I'm buzzing, and this game has done that for me, so that is why I do pay the subscription, um, as I said, feel free to put in your comment section, I'm not arrogant enough to say, no, you're wrong, that's wrong, this is wrong, everybody's got their own opinion, some people don't want to put the money into the game, that's fair enough. Some people want to be free to play, and I totally respect that. But from our perspective, is within any business, and this is a business, they have to make money to develop the game. Um, they're not going to run this game at a loss. No one will. I mean, you've, for example, McDonald's, they've got more money than cents. But if they've got a restaurant that's not making any money, they're not going to pour any resources into it, any staff, anything into it. And they'll just close it down. And that's what will happen to this game if you know, if it's not supported. So I'm not telling you to go out and spend loads of money on the game to support it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I do it because I want this game to carry on and thrive. And you've obviously got your wows at the top of the 
the leaderboards and everything that probably pump more money in a day than I do a year into this. But that's one reason. It's my, just my little way of giving them a little bit a month that helps support and run the game. So that is the video. So please, um, love to know what everybody thinks on it. Apologies if you do think some of my comments are controversial, but anybody who's watched my videos and knows me knows that I speak the truth. If I like something, I like something. If I don't like something, I don't like it. I won't lie. I'm quite straightforward. And yeah, so these are my views on it. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you did make it this far, it'd be great if you could slip, uh, click on the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up or if you disagree, a thumbs down. Either way, it's your call. Uh, thank you ever so much to everybody who's watched. Happy assassinating. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.